Oh, looks like we're joined by Baby Amagi, looking to help set things up here for the live stream. That is super cute. The the hair, the um, the ears and the tail are super sushi. Oh, she's cleaning the camera. Really impressive, as far as the animations are concerned. We get introduced to a VTuber version of of Baby Amagi. I think last year is when they introduced Akashi. It may have been the year before, though. I can't remember. So, look at that tail. So swooshy. Very, very cute. Hi there, everyone. Guardian E here, and welcome to another Azure Lane livestream recap and reaction video. We're going to be watching this Chinese 5th anniversary livestream together, live on BillyBilly.com. Uh, we will touch upon everything that is revealed in the course of the live stream, but I'll also, of course, put timestamps and chapters down below if you'd like to navigate, skip to a particular part of the video. This is probably going to be a long one, as the live streams tend to be. Now, I will just briefly remind you that if you do enjoy the content that we put out, including new Azure Lane videos, and you would like to support the channel, please consider subscribing, leaving a like down below, leaving a comment, letting us know what you thought about the live stream. It really does help us out. Uh, if not, thank you so, so much just for checking out the video and checking out the channel. We really do appreciate it. Uh, so with that, let's jump in. I am super excited. Of course, we know that it is going to be a new Royal Navy UR with a new Royal Navy event. But beyond that, details are sparse. So hoping for some some stuff to knock our socks off. Let's let's hop into it. So it does seem like this is looping and it's pre-recorded, but I do wonder if if Baby Amagi is going to be joining live while they're doing the live stream itself. Oh, she is going to join. Oh, wow. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> These manju. That's awesome. I mean, last year they had one, you know, digitally rendered VTuber manju. <laughs> but now, looks like they've got two of them going. Uh, got Amagi-chan as well. And, of course, we have a Cheshire cosplayer. This manju on the right has some serious eyelashes and blush going on. Oh, getting a little introduction from Anchorage's voice actress. <laughs> okay, Cheshire's VA as well. Congratulating on a fifth anniversary. Oh, Amagi is bringing a gift. What could this be? The manchu looks so squishy. Oh. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go through some yearly statistics, as they tend to for the anniversaries, just to kind of highlight the achievements of the game over the past year. Okay, and we're running through the numbers here. So I'll be sure to have each of these statistics up sequentially, just so if you want to take a closer look and see what they are, um, they will be available. Interesting, interesting. I don't think I would have actually expected Anchorage to be number one from this list. I, I guess I underestimated her popularity. But she's great, so I, I, all three of these are great. Okay, so these are... Alright, so these are, I guess, the top three oaths. So I'm guessing those are the top ten oaths from the past year. Um, surprised by Ulrich's placement. Glad to see Taiho up there. That's awesome. So this is going to be the top ten skins, I think, probably purchased. Okay, Enti up there on number four at the Race Queen. Like to see it. Lamalan at three. Vittorio Veneto at two. And New Jersey at one. Uh, those top two in particular, I think, are amazing. Veneto, especially if that's in the past... I don't know if this is in the past year or cumulative, but I'm certainly not surprised to see... A Veneto in there. Oh, she's opening the gift! Oh! So it looks like we're going to be blessed with some goodies. So obviously this is for the Chinese server, but generally speaking, they will dole these out to all of the servers for the celebration. So um, I would expect that we would get this on global. 20 cubes, 500 rubies, some some cog chips, uh, some cog arrays, blueprints. Can't, can't complain about that. 
向南海鲜酱油与碧蓝航线海鲜将推出联名礼盒，为各位自己动手准备美食的指挥官们提供便利。请看，连心章分抽，小心章好友。I don't know what this is. Okay, I think that was Cheshire just like introducing us to a condiment collaboration. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, just showing off some, I guess, themed merch, themed food goods. So this is a just an anniversary trailer, just going over the past year and beyond, for that matter. Yeah, yeah, it's going back. All the way. Aww. Going through the timeline here. Wow. That's been a long journey. Every year. Aww, this, this is just a nice trip down memory lane. I do like how they kind of include the little like top threes across each year as well. Oh, uh, the PR4 introductions, that was always a big deal. That was super hype. Got Ulrich, got Kronstadt. And then, fifth anniversary. Here we are. Now, if it's anything like last year's format, I think we're probably going to get the, the new event reveal, along with the new ships, and then they're going to pepper the rest of the live stream with various uh, skin reveals. Uh, some of them pertaining specifically to the theme of the actual anniversary, some of them being party dresses, because I think we do traditionally get party dresses every single year as well, so they may end up doing that and kind of breaking that up throughout the rest of the live stream. Okay, Wavy Flow. I know that there was a tease on the 5th anniversary site for a new like music track, so I'm guessing that this this is what that is. So I, I do wonder if the full track is going to be available on the site. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be available separately to purchase as well. The Cheshire is going to introduce us to another product, another collab, maybe? Yeah, it does seem like... So Cheshire is like the merch and collab uh, liaison here, essentially. Um, so showing off some Azure Lane t-shirts. The Yostar store actually did recently make an announcement that all of the global goods in the global Yostar store were going to be available in the Japanese shop going forward, which is great for the Japanese shop, but I really would have preferred them to make some sort of commentary on, on vice versa, like the other way around, because the Japanese shop has so many exclusive pieces of merch on other just cool stuff that we don't get on the Yostar store globally. So, oh god, <laughs> she's getting super close. Oh, she's adjusting the settings a little bit for us. Oh, she took a selfie. That's very cute. Okay, yep, so this is going to be the next event. Beautiful setting. What is this? So Camelot. I see Camelot in the back. Uh, so it's going to start on the 26th of May, which we already knew from the tease, because they did show that the HMS UR was going to be re released on the 26th. So... Uh, we could speculate that that was when the event was going to drop. So the 26th until I think it was the 16th that was there. So a good a good span of time. Okay, we're getting some ship reveals. Wow, they're jumping right into it. So Bologna we already had revealed uh, just a couple of days ago. <clears throat> so Bologna on the left hat we had revealed just a couple of days ago. She is a purple ship. She is going to be an elite. And then on the right that is a new ship. I will have the names of the ships uh, translated up above. I don't know what they are right now, but uh, but uh, I'm excited to know who they are at the end of the day. Definitely find the, the ship on the right quite fetching. Love that pleated skirt design. Uh, and then the action pose is really fancy, uh, really elegant looking. Um, on the left, just a little bit more serious, grounded. Outfit's a little bit more mundane for Bologna, but I think it's also very fitting for her. So, okay. So start, starting off with the, these two ships here. Oh, is this going to be the UR? It kind of looks like the silhouette from that they showed earlier. Aircraft carrier, it lines up. Legs for days, and those proportions are 
to die for. Incredible. Love that long flowing hair, the wings behind her. The aesthetic appeal, like thematically, is really clean. I love this, like, almost ethereal, heavenly motif that they have going here. So here's a smaller destroyer with a scepter propped up on her rigging. Looks like she might be a support ship. I don't know. Well, she does have a nurse hat on, so that that's what kind of leads me to think that way. I'm not entirely sure. But she does, of course, have um, some elements of a maid outfit incorporated into her, uh, her art here. Again, I'm digging the angel wings kind of look to things. Okay, so we are getting an animated preview here. Oh wow! So, I, so I I must have been wrong. I wait. So that was an animated preview for this battleship. A beautiful animated preview. Um, this ship looks great. Look at that. Look at that rigging. So serious. So I, maybe she's the U R. I'm sorry. I I know I know I'm, I know I'm being confusing here, but I'm I. Yeah, so the animated preview was for the last ship, which makes me think that that's the UR. But I thought the UR was confirmed to be the carrier based on the preview and the teaser. I could be way off, and, and that's that's fine. I mean, all will be clear in due time, and I, if to the to the extent that I can uh, clarify all of that in uh, some editing, I will do that. Maid outfits. So we are going to be getting some maid outfits, it looks like. That's... It, kind of an interpretive made outfit I gotta say they're really kind of flipping through these pretty quickly um you know there's some nice there's some nice picks here oh is that a Taiho made outfit no that's not a Taiho made outfit no wait so that was a live 2d oh there's going to be another Prince Eugen live 2d so these are all live 2D. Wow, they are really busting out the live 2Ds here. For Okay, all right. I can't wait to see them in motion because there's a lot of potential with some of those later skins. I got to say. Okay, so we are getting a preview of, I think, some of the weaponry, the uh, weapon skins that are going to come alongside the event. Man, they really, like, just blitz through those skins entirely. Like, no fanfare. They just go, like, one right after the other. It was very, uh, very efficient, but didn't give a whole lot of time to admire them. I would like to take a closer look. Uh, so, pretty nice. Looks like some trumpets, some winged manju. Can't tell what that is. Oh, are they? Are those chopper? No, I, I don't know what those are. Oh, <laughs> and then just like manju statues, maybe. I don't know. I I always really like the weapon skins. I think they add a nice little flavor. So I always look forward to them. And some flowers. Hopefully they just show a list of them. It'd be nice to just... I mean, it's nice seeing them all in action, but I'd like to just, you know, kind of see them uh, all listed. The steam buns? The steam buns look great. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at how clean this dorm set is. It's so stylish. It's like, it's really high class. Okay, and party dresses too. They're just throwing them out here. Live 2D for Rune. So I, is what I saw, I thought. Man, they, they don't give us any time to look at these. Okay, so this was the teased dress uh, from the... Uh, teased out for Grozny from the teaser. Um, so that's to be expected. This is a Howe skin. She looks really good in this banquet dress. A Boise skin. Boise's been getting a lot of love, I have to say, in the skin department. So that's great. This is a Tirpit skin, it looks like. Beautiful perspective and backdrop. Really, really nice. This one's great, too. All right. Now, bear in mind, this is the Chinese live stream, so some of these skins could be altered and censored in some way, specifically for the Chinese version. We'll know more very, very soon as to if any of them have been altered and uh, what the original versions look like. But so far, they look they look pretty good. And the... Oh! It's a new retrofit for Unicorn. Okay, people, people really wanted new retrofits, especially, you know, it's appropriate for the Royal Navy to get them. Unicorn, I think, was one of the ones on the... Obviously, she's super popular. So that's pretty nice. I know Unicorn fans are going to be happy about that. I like the actual Unicorn in the back. It looks pretty glorious. Um, hopefully, that, I don't know if that's going to be the only retrofit. I think a lot of people want Queen Elizabeth to get one. Oh, it's a baby Cheshire. <laughs> Oh, she looks precious, I have to say. I'm not personally, like, the biggest fan of the baby ships. They do usually release a couple of them every year. Uh, but, oh! 
Oh wow, okay, so this is gonna be the new meta reveal. I think we were, we were basically expecting um, both meta ships to be revealed here. One for, of course, the uh, the cruise missions, and one for Operation Siren. So I'm not exactly sure which one this one's going to be, but uh, she looks pretty cool. I like that the sword hanging kind of over her shoulder has that like molten that molten material kind of dripping off of it. Oh, is that <coughs> Oh, is that Memphis? She looks super serious. <laughs> They're moving way too fast through this stuff. I have I have to admit that like I much prefer how the Japanese live streams run through the new content just cuz they like take a little bit of time. Like you don't have to stall, but give us like a second to actually appreciate each new reveal. Uh, so we are getting an outfit rerun for uh, some of the previous banquet skins. That makes a ton of sense. Of course, they usually do that every year. So okay, so there is going to be a return of some of the limited furniture as well, which is pretty nice. Some of this was uh, relatively recent, so um, it coming back is a great opportunity for people to pick those up. Uh, going to be some lucky boxes, I think, in the Akashi shop as usual. So certainly expect some skins available in those. Uh, we are, of course, going to get the annual review. Uh, I don't know if we're going to get it on global. The Chinese server probably will. We'll probably get the annual review on our anniversary, which is essentially when you first log in, uh, it'll show you a screen of your accomplishments and statistics thus far for your account. Okay, you're going to have another opportunity to pick up this Akashi skin. That Akashi skin was given for free, I think, last anniversary? Something like that. You'll be able to get this skin for free if you haven't already. What? What is happening here? Oh! Are we finally getting the reveal of the melee system? This is something they teased like ages ago, and we just like didn't hear a peep out of them since. So we've, we've got Laffy wielding a knife. That's a little bit of a scary thought, I have to say. So <laughs> looks like Belfast also is going to have some sort of a melee component. So I wonder how many of the Vanguard ships are going to have, maybe all of them, are going to have some sort of implement. So there's going to be some new material to be able to upgrade the weapons as well. So it's going to have its own entirely different upgrade system. It looks like there's some ore or something like that uh, in order to augment and upgrade the actual melee weapons. And it wasn't immediately clear from those screenshots or the, the very small, quick gameplay videos uh, how the melee is incorporated, if it's like automated or if it's like through a button press. I kind of missed that. Oh, here we go, going through some of the Oath skins. Okay, alright. That is going to be Saratoga. And that is the New Jersey, as we uh, as was teased previously, and this is confirmed here. So, that art does match up. We are getting a New Jersey Oath skin. So, only three Oath skins this go-around, and they are going to drop a double ring pack in the shop, so you can pick those up to Oath uh, two ships, at least. So that's, that's nice. That's appreciated. Uh, I feel like they could be a little bit more aggressive with the rollout of the Oath skins. <gasps> what? Oh, this is the Taiho school skin that, like, they revealed... Uh, they leaked... It was leaked, like, a, like a year and a half. I can't talk. I can't... You see what Taiho does to me? I just can't talk anymore. <laughs> so, <laughs> this was a skin that was revealed, like like two years ago and we just like we're never we never heard a peep about it since yunsong hasn't like released any art for the game in like over a year but yeah no that's that's great i'm super hyped for that oh, i can't wait to see it in action another taiho skin is, is this a trailer for it or oh okay so so I'm actually not 100% sure what this is, so uh, please excuse my ignorance, I'm sorry if I offend anybody, but it, it sounds like to me that they're incorporating uh, Chinese voice actresses into the Dragon Empery to give you that option. I mean, it, it, I don't think they previously had Chinese voice actresses incorporated in the game at all, and it, it makes sense, it would be very appropriate for the Dragon Empery to get them. So that's what I'm assuming here, again, uh, without any co other context, uh, I, I'm, of course, not able to confirm that, but I, I think that might be what what's happening. Uh, and so they're running through each of the Dragon Emperor ships now, and I think revealing the voice actress and going through some of the lines for each one. So, but yeah, that's pretty nice, especially for the Chinese server, if that's if that's correct. Oh, you know what? That probably wasn't August Von Parsifal. That was probably the new ship, right? What the heck is this? What? It's Robo Colonel Sanders? Is this a thing? 
Like, is this like something in in China, <laughs> or is this just something that they created for this like collaboration, whatever it is? Whatever it is, it's awesome. That, that Colonel Sanders looks awesome. <laughs> Why can't we have a Colonel Sanders like that? Okay, okay, so we are getting some teases here. Some some silhouettes that they just kind of flashed up. No time to really evaluate them at all. They're like blitzing through this stuff. I mean, I do appreciate the brevity to keep the live stream more succinct. Uh, but, uh, and I guess you can always rewind and pause and take a closer look. So we have Amagi Chan listening to, oh, listening to Wavy Flow. She's having some connection issues. So these are going to be gameplay element updates, whether quality of life or otherwise. They're revamping something with the metal exchange. There's some new changes to the summoning as well, it looks like. Oh, interesting. So you can combine... Oh, interesting. So you can combine the gear skin packs and turn them into, like, all packs? Oh, so they, are they finally expanding the fleet technology element of this? It's about time. They haven't they haven't done it in like two or three years. It feels like, so that's uh, that would be much appreciated. Uh, looks like the retrofit materials for those two are going to be either rerunning or just be available in general. And then here's sort of a patch note overview and timeline for what's incoming. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. I was waiting for them to blow it up on screen so that so that we can actually take a closer look at this. All right, and then they are gonna. So they are. They do intermittently bring back the skin, so you can take a look. I just. They're just like blitzing through this thing so fast that it's it's hard to uh, catch everything, especially of course when I don't really understand what they're saying. But yeah, I thought that was August von Parsifal. It's, it's clearly the new the new ship. These two are the new ship. So that's exciting. Definitely looking forward to that. Uh, there's certainly a really nice medley of hits here. I think for some of them, I would I want to see what kind of the unedited art is going to be because I have a sneaking suspicion for some of them that they have been altered. More game update stuff here. So it looks like Arc Royal Meta is going to be making a return. So I don't know if they're going to introduce her in a different way or if she's just also going to be able to be obtainable through Operation Siren again. And that has been a little bit of a point of confusion just because we don't know how they were planning on bringing back older meta ships for new players that join after their window has left. So uh, it's nice to see Arc Royal meta returning. There are going to be some enhancements to the research and the research projects. And there's also going to be some sort of an update to the mail. All right, so there is going to be an update to... Okay, changes to the secretary slots. I have no idea what this is, but I'll have a translation up if I uh, am able to figure that out. What is this? What? <laughs> oh, what's the uh, the new collaboration? Oh, with uh, with a phone. Oh, that's kind of slick. Oh, <laughs> yet again, more merch from Cheshire, the queen of collaboration here. Got some stylish masks, it looks like. There's uh, some jewelry, I think maybe even the U Treasure rings that, uh, that were revealed in the Japanese live stream before. Yeah, so here's that mask. It's actually, uh, you know, it's pretty nice. It's It's got a subtle pattern to it. Uh, so it looks like that is going to be a stylish fisherman hat. <laughs> the lining looks pretty nice on it. Oh! So it looks like there's going to be a pin insignia for, or a medal insignia for the uh, the 5th anniversary. I do have to say, I, I think the 5th anniversary logo is, is pretty sleek. I like it. Uh, they do a pretty good job with, with all of them. Last year's was really good, too. Oh, there's like a stamp album for... Okay, well, that thing they flashed for like three quarters of a second was a stamp album, I think, for Astro Lane. Uh, those are... Those are the U Treasure Rings, right? I think so. Yeah. I wanted to see more about the stamp collection, but again, they didn't really give us an opportunity to really look at it. Oh, I guess these are different. I guess those aren't the U Treasure Rings. So this might be a completely separate line. Oh, little mochi plushies. I love them. I love them. Not all of these are new, right? I don't think so. 
That's formidable, right? Very cute. Cheshire all the way on the side. You've got Belfast. Is that Yingsui? I'm not entirely sure. And then you've got uh, Enterprise, of course. You have Illustrious. You just have a Manju there. Laffy and Unicorn, I guess, on the left there. That's pretty nice. I don't know if we're... We, we might get some of these on the global store. We have we have in the past. What? She demonstrated that it was a pull like a pull string, but it didn't say anything. <laughs> AC Toys collaboration. Oh wow! Is it is it a life size A gear? Wow, that time lapse. Ooh, it has lights in it too. I mean, why wouldn't it, right? If it's life size, you gotta go. You gotta go all out. Wow. Great sculpt. That's impressive. All that rigging too. Like not just obviously not just her figure, but also the cape. Okay, so that was a life size demonstration, and there is going to be a one seventh scale version available for sale from AC Toys. I don't know. AC Toys, I'm guessing, is a Chinese manufacturer, so I'm not entirely familiar with them, but uh, they seem good. Oh, okay. The Nendos. So we, I did mention in one of the previous news updates that Good Smile Company confirmed that they were coming out with a Lafay Nendo, and here it is, finally. Uh, more Good Smile Company scale figures. I knew that they were going to be coming out with more when they announced that Nendo. Got Ayanami, you've got Shinano, you've got Chenhai. Wow, that's... Oh, that's so cute. That Cheshire. So that's Apex Toys, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, I think that might be a Chinese manufacturer as well. Uh, but I'm super psyched for the Good Smile scales. I figured that we were going to be getting some. Uh, knee game. Okay. Dragon Emperor version. Very nice. There is going to be a Tayo Oath skin figure. Luck draw. Oh, I think this is just a raffle to win some of the revealed merchandise. So that's... Again, they're blitzing through this thing, but you know, there's a lot of figure reveals. Uh, not entirely sure how many of them are going to be easily accessible and importable, but um, something I'll certainly look forward to. Some highlights in there for sure, uh, including A Gear, including the Taiho. Yeah, looking forward to more concrete information on all of those reveals. Good Smile, of course, I can vouch for as far as the quality is concerned. So their scales are almost certainly going to be, you know, very, very high quality. <laughs> bye bye all right well that was it i it was a lot of information tossed in there really really quickly i gotta say i think they could have spent a little bit less camera time on the manju and a little bit more on the uh, reveals and infographics that popped up um but that being said a lot of a lot of things they had to run through in a very short amount of time so i do certainly appreciate the time constraints there a lot of potential here with some of these made outfits as well as banquet skins. Always love the banquet skins. Huge potential there. And made outfits just makes a lot of sense for the Royal Navy. Uh, even though a lot of them are pretty much already in made outfits to begin with. This skin looks incredible. Unfortunately, it's not live 2D. That really kills me. Um, because it looks like the UR, uh, which is next, is going to have the live 2D. Which again threw me off because I thought that she was the UR. So... Uh, yeah, so this one's getting a live 2D, not the other one, which, uh, which if I'm being completely honest, is a pretty big bummer to me. I am super excited for the uh, the Prince Eugen live 2D here. Uh, that's gonna be that's gonna be fantastic, I'm sure. As well as this Aegir live 2D looks really great. I, uh, finally, she's going to be getting her own skin, so that's something to look forward to. So yeah, lots of information. Like I said, I will try to edit in translations for the in-game updates that are forthcoming, uh, just so you have a better idea of what those are going to be. A new event is going to hit on the 26th, so not you know, within the week, basically, not, not too far along. Uh, we are going to get that brand new event, and it is going to extend into the middle of next month. New UR to look forward to, new retrofit for Unicorn, a bevy of new skins, um, lots of returning features, so... And of course, on the 26th, we will release our day one video for the event covering our day one polls as well as a skin review. So uh, if you are interested in seeing that, make sure to subscribe down below so you do get notified when that goes live. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you thought of the live stream, what you thought of the reveal, what you think about the new 
ship reveals and uh, the new updates in general. Uh, hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to leave us a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more Azure Lane content. We thank you all so much for watching and for taking time out of your day to spend with us. We really do appreciate it. And until next time, let's protect those waters.